Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. This is not a review. Uh, this is in answer to uh, quite a few emails and messages I've received, and I think you deserve a little bit of explanation as to why I've kind of disappeared off the face of the earth a little bit. Uh, many of you aren't going to be interested, quite rightly so, but for those of you that are, I'd just give you a little kind of um, update and tell you that no, I have not quit the channel. Uh, was it going to? No, <laughs> not really. -ish. But anyway, we'll get on to that. But like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Have a look at onlinemagic.co. So, as I said, quite a few messages saying, are you still reviewing stuff? Where have you a couple of weeks of, of no videos? maybe a bit more than a couple of weeks. Um, I did do a video when I was in Turin uh, at the European Street Magic Championships, which is kind of the same sort of thing I'm going to say, I suppose. God, I just realised that caught something. Um, but what happened was I came back from Turin. A couple of things happened with reviews. Somebody I reviewed a lot for kind of said... Um, uh, I've, I've, I've kind of put a lot of work into to making sure I got reviews out on time and you know we're talking days and days and days and days um, for not much return other than my own happiness I enjoy doing it which is great that's all I ask but then I kind of went oh, re actually I, I could really do with that could I review that and they kind of went no and I went oh well, hang on <laughs> it kind of made me reassess uh, things in a very selfish way of kind of going actually there's something I actually want and will use but I can't get that but you know I'll, I'll carry on reviewing stuff uh, and helping you sell your product with the stuff I'm not that bothered about. But anyway, that sounds very bitter. It's really not. It's a very objective thing. It's kind of like, where am I spending my time? And I think we all have to look at that sometimes and say, selfishly, what am I, my family, my friends, my community getting from me spending my time doing this? So that was one thing, and it made me kind of think about things. Being in Turin and performing... I was really happy with what I did. I was happy that I did my new Lincoln Ring routine, but the routines that are newish, but I've performed a lot, were a bit all over the place and a bit rusty. And it made me realize that I'm not putting the work into my performances that I should. And much of that is because I've been reviewing stuff. Again, nobody's holding a gun to my head. It's all my own personal choice. So that was another thing. And I made this rule after reading uh, the Art of Practice by uh, Lado Ditmar, which I'm going to be talking about, being inspired to approach practice in a different way, and some personal things that are going on that are making me think about how quickly time is going and how I've really got to prioritise the things I want to achieve without being morbid uh, before I die. And I know that does sound a bit extreme, but when you get to this age of 50, you realise how quickly the last 10 years went and, and how much time... I've arguably wasted doing certain things when I, I could have been working on the things that mine, you know, the things I want to achieve. So this year things have, have turned around a bit. I'm going out to the Magic Castle to perform. I'm performing a lot more overseas and I'm really kind of focusing on on what I want and and what is better for me and my family and my bank balance. You know, the couple of moments in the last couple of months where I've gone, oh my God, I really need to kind of again look at the things that are, gonna, are kind of going to allow me to live a comfortable life one day, hopefully. So, I know for some of you this is going to be so tedious, but I know some of you are interested. So if you're not, you know, feel free to turn off. So because of all this stuff going on and some stresses, moving house is the thing that's happening soon and loads of other stuff that is, you know, is manageable independently, but when it all builds up, we get this kind of slowing down. So I stepped back a little bit, reassessed, made sure that I did two or three hours of practicing, you know, my show, my routines every day, which was great. My mental health started, it was fine, but fine isn't good enough for the level I want to work at. I'm not saying a, a brilliant level, I'm just saying that, you know, I kind of have to be on it. And when I'm not, many tasks seem very difficult you know things that i usually find easy like making a video seem feel like climbing a mountain and adhd is part of that as well so it's kind of this perfect storm of me not finding it easy to do the stuff i usually find easy anyway a couple of weeks off not off but working on things learning things towards my show and now i'm starting to feel like it's all kind of lining up a little bit again with the reviews you know, I've said for a while now to a lot of people that this isn't really a review channel. This is finding the stuff I like and will probably use or would use if I have time. So it's, it's, it's stuff that I think is considerable and worthy of your attention. So I'm not going to be reviewing everything 
I'm not going to be reviewing things to sort of slate them unless I find stuff that you know everybody says is brilliant and I think is terrible, which never really happens, but you never know. But I will be doing it. So if you've sent me stuff, I will be working through that. I'm now, and I'm going to record a review in a minute of a couple of things that I'm really excited about that I have actually used in shows. And I'm probably not going to accept many more things to review unless, again, I think they're really of genuine interest, which, you know, sorry to say, a lot of stuff coming out at the moment isn't. It's not, it's rubbish. It's just n not anything that I can see that is, you know, excites me in any way. So reviews are being recorded now. I might edit them a bit less and, and not get so obsessed with kind of editing performance footage in and things like that. I don't think I need to do that. Uh, but I will try and put performance footage in when I can, just so you can get an idea. But what I will promise is that I will learn every trick and spend time with every trick that I review. Maybe not just do what I've been doing is, you know, waiting three days to try and find someone to film it and using all that time just to get a couple of minutes of footage. So there you go. Uh, if you got this far, thanks very much. Everything is good. Everything is positive. Like all of us, we just have to look after ourselves and understand that the accumulation of different things can sometimes start weighing us down. And if we don't take action, we can we can get to a point where it's harder to kind of, you know, unravel everything and, and get everything, you know, back to back to normal. But it's it's starting to feel like that way now. Um, if you're watching this and you're a member of the course or you've emailed me recently and you're not a member of the course, onlinemagic.co do know that I appreciate every message I appreciate every comment I read them I never look at them and go oh, I can't be bothered it's more about I need to kind of focus my time and come back to things when I can so please do comment know that I read them um, and if I have email uh, you have emailed me and I haven't got back to you do remind me and I will try my best to get back to you whenever I can anyway um, have a great one I'm going to record a review now and thank you very much for listening to my load of old waffle. Cheers.